What's what's good? Welcome back to the Vintage Habits Podcast, man. Another week, another podcast, bro. I'm excited. Per usual, man. Uh, a couple different topics this episode, bro. I'm excited to talk about. Um, but before we start this episode, man, you already know the plug. Shout out my boy Vintage Jordy. Uh, the link will be in my description. You can use code VHP for 15% off. He's dropping some new ass pieces that I just seen. Super duper fire. Make sure you go check my boy out. Um, like I said, the link will be in my description. Well, let's jump right into this episode, man. So I've been getting a lot of questions on just a bunch of things in general. And I kind of want to just cover a couple topics and talk about a couple couple topics. So the first thing I want to talk about is somebody in my comments in the last video mentioned hard jewelry, what I think about them, what do they do, um, and just, just like general questions about hard jewelry. So hard jewelry, if you don't know, is a company that also makes jewelry just like Vintage Jewelry. And there's a bunch of different streetwear companies out there that make jewelry. But hard jewelry is probably one of the most... Most, uh, biggest or the bigger brands out there is known for like streetwear and their jewelry just because their pieces are so 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 fire man in my opinion on hard jewelry man is that you know I've never owned a piece from hard jewelry I've heard many good things about them man I know that their pieces are you know legit they have really good customer service and pieces are very unique to them man um, like I said I've never ordered anything off of them I don't have anything against them usually I just go with Yordi just because pieces are cheaper and I've known them for a while now just personally but uh if you rock with hard jewelry, that's cool, man. If y'all want me to do like a cool little review on hard jewelry, I'd be totally down to do that. Maybe if they send me some pieces or maybe if I buy some myself, we'll see how that goes along. But yeah, hard jewelry, um, I, I, I like them for a couple of different reasons, man. One of the reasons is just because the way that they market. So they do a lot of good marketing as far as it goes for like, oh, uh, if you look at some of their posts, it's just like memes of jewelry and stuff like that. I think that's very smart. Like not a lot of companies are doing that. And like I said, their pieces are very unique to them. They have so many different drops that I personally like. I know they have this one where it's a pendant of an angel. I know they have some skull rings that are super hard. Only dislike that I don't like about hard jewelry is how expensive their pieces are. Like, it's just a little too out of my budget for me to actually go buy and cop hard jewelry. But, you know, if, if that's in your range, go ahead and get some hard jewelry, man. So shout out them. I'll put them in the description as well, just because I know they're a fire ass brand. I know that they're legit and they'll, they'll hook you up with some pieces, man. So shout out hard jewelry. All right. Next thing I want to get into is a little bit of a, uh, of a haul. So, uh, I've been receiving a lot of different items and I got a lot of different items coming in. Usually I do a haul on the other channel, but I decided, you know, let me do a haul on this channel just to add some more, uh, flavor to this channel, you know, so we're just not talking about some basic things. So the first thing I want to talk about is these foam runners. Let's get these foam runners sent in today. Uh, so this is a shoe that I've been trying to scope out for a minute. I got this like mesh type colorway just because I like the way that it blends in. I know if you're listening to the podcast, obviously you can't see, but uh, if you don't know, the foam runners are part of the user collection created and designed by Kanye West. Couple reasons why I really like these shoes. Number one is that they're just so different, so futuristic in a way. Like the, sh the way the shoe comes off. I was listening to a Kanye lecture or him just talking about something. I'm not sure if it was a lecture or a podcast or it was something along those lines, but he was saying, you know, when he wanted to design this shoe, he wanted it to be different, you know, with Jordans and, and Adidas and, and just a lot of shoes, they have a tongue. But if you look at the foam runners, there is no like real tongue. It's kind of facing outwards. And so it just gives it this really futuristic feel, especially with a lot of the holes and circles, a lot of breathable area. I love the way that this is just like, just look at the, the, just look at the soles and the bottom of this shoe. It's just very, very futuristic, man. I think that's just so unique that he was able to design something like this and just, just, just really digging into his creative mind. You know, Kanye West is not only a great musical artist, but just a great designer in general. Just like, I mean, just looking at his Yeezy slides, some of his, um, you know, the Yeezy 550s, the Yeezy 700s. Kanye West really, really just, you can tell he really just takes pride in his creative process and design. And you know, his music is, you know, m not particularly my favorite as far, as far as it goes for the newer albums, but you cannot deny that his design process is very creative, to say, to say the least. I chose this colorway uh, because a lot of people had the tan ones, a lot of people had the black ones. I wanted something that was just kind of a mix of both, so this just kind of has like a tan, top to it with on the sides and towards the heel it kind of meshes into like this dark gray you could even say brown almost depending on you know how you're looking at it um and i just love these shoes i slipped them on they're super duper comfortable but they're also tight which i wasn't expecting i thought these were going to fit pretty loose these are pretty tight man they fit on foot very well they're easy to slip on slip out of and i feel like you know i could really just run in these like just like the name says the foam runners i can i feel like i can run in these this is the clay mesh colorway i believe 
believe. I, I just love these shoes, man. I really do. I'll link the per people who sent these to me. Said I love her shoe. Um, they sent them to me. Just do a quick review on them. Uh, I wear size 12 and they fit as a size 12. You know, I still have a little bit of space in my toes. Um, but man, these are just really, really creative, designing, futuristic shoe. And I, I love them. I love them. So shout out Lover Shoe. Shout out Kanye West for designing these shoes. Just to amazing futuristic they almost give me like a ufo alien vibe in a weird way it's so weird and in the versatility you can really do with these shoes like you can really throw these on with almost anything i've seen people wear these with jeans i've seen people wear these camouflage pants i've seen people wear these with shorts just a very very versatile shoe i like this color like i said i feel like i can do i can do a bunch with this color i have a lot of cream a lot of gray in my closet you can throw these with sweats i see a lot of people do those so many different things you can do with this colorway and i I love these shoes. Like I said, I really, really do slip on nice and easy. I love the material that it's made out of. It's like, like almost like this foam cushion type feel, man. I, I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Next, we're going to get some two other items that were sent to me. I got a total of three, but I'm going to be doing the la the other item on my next video. So I want to shout out my boy Vincey, Vincey Reps, man. Um, so he sent me some Supreme and some Bape. So the first piece I want to talk about is this Bape tee that he sent me. This is of the Bape Milo Sesame Street collab. Uh, the reason I chose this one to get was just because, you know, I love any Bape piece really, but I've never really seen anybody really rock this. I love it just because of the cartoons, the colors. It's got a simple black print on the front that just simply is just Sesame Street Bape collab. And then on the back, as you can see here, he's got his characters and also some of the Sesame Street characters with just Bape Milo printed on the back of it. I just love this tee, man. It's white. It's uh, the only thing I don't like about Bape tees is I got this in a double XL and it fits me like a large. It fits me a little tight, man. I'm not going to lie. I wear XL on the regular. I thought it would oversize a little bit just because it's Bape. I know for Supreme, it fits me pretty tight, but I thought this would oversize just a little bit, man. And it didn't. I was a little disappointed. I wore it today, though. It's not like super duper tight. It's just a little snug. More more bigger built in the shoulders and the arms like me uh just buyer beware for bape and supreme a lot of their pieces are probably gonna fit a bit tight on you depending what size you get i love this man love the colors love the collab shout out bape i i i, I really like bape just as a brand just as what they do i haven't seen a lot of people do they've taken this character and they've turned it into just all these creative designs especially probably one of their most iconic designs is just the bape jacket you know the prints that they use i love their packaging their bags some of their quotes that they even have on the bags, you know, ape shall never, ape shall, ape shall never kill ape, you know, on the bottom of the bags, sometimes they'll say, uh, beware, keep away, plastic away from children, but it's like this cool print, man, and I just, I just like the way Bape moves about their company and does what they do, so shout out Pharrell, shout out Nego, super fire, just, just pieces in general, super fire brand, I just love Bape, man, I love Bape. And I really didn't even get into them until probably about this year, just because I wasn't able to really afford Bape uh, going into high school. Uh, just because it's expensive pieces, especially going for resale. Retail, I know that they're, you know, more reasonable, but it's really hard to get retail these days on anything that's like just, just super in the market. Next, we got this red Supreme t-shirt so i was a little confused on this because they were vincey sent me i think the wrong one i was thought i had took a snapchat or picture and showed him the one that i wanted which was it was, it was supposed to be this but in white but you know i'm not complaining man free clothes is free clothes man like i said this fits pretty much just like the babe tea and i got a double xl like i said supreme is another one of those brands that i just really really love i know that they don't do as much with their packaging as babe which i don't like i wish they would do a little bit more as far as it goes but supreme has just been one of those brands especially the 2016 2017 and just from now on that's just been super duper hype everybody i know has just at least wanted one supreme piece i love what they do with their accessories that's another thing that you don't see a lot of brands doing supreme has literally everything from crowbars to blimps to 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 cigarette holders and and 
and lighters and rugs and it's just accessory and they're they're very versatile in what they do and it's so crazy that they've been able to convince a market even me and able to convince people to buy and spend thousands of dollars on something that literally just says supreme like it's just crazy to me but I, you know i still love them as a brand i love their north face collabs i love a lot of their collab louis vuitton supreme collab uh supreme nike collabs you know some of their shoes that they have the air forces i, I like supreme just in general just as a brand man you know and they and they you know a lot of people have said you know they kind of strayed away from their skater uh image because that was you know a lot of skaters wore supreme and i think that was their original purpose i either supreme it was either skater or surfer i'm not completely sure but i don't think so man a lot of people will say you know they've gone mainstream which is true but i don't think they've strayed away from what they what they really represent which is just skating man they've honestly in my opinion just expanded their market into you know just streetwear and just maybe so for some people even every day where there's a bunch of supreme heads out there i don't know if you guys remember supreme patty which that was just his whole thing that crazy guy but yeah this is a collab that i got and the other one that i have that is also i didn't get this in i've had this for a while but it's the other supreme piece that i have which is just a supreme box logo bandana gray hoodie but in blue i wanted a brown one but they were on a stock um like i said some of the piece that i love i got this in xl fits me so tight that i don't even wear it it's literally just a piece that i hang up so like i said which uh if you guys are just bigger people um supreme is just going to be supreme sometimes even babe is just going to be one of those brands that you you just kind of had to hang up on the shelf give to a friend who's a bit smaller or something like that man just because like they just don't they don't fit us man they don't fit us i'm 5'10 too so i'm not even like a super duper big guy but I, I just know what some of these pieces that i've been sent and some of these pieces that i got man they just don't fit man they just don't fit and it sucks it sucks but hey free clothes is free clothes man free clothes. but yeah now that we got into that haul uh let's look at this louis vuitton collection that's pretty supposed to be coming pretty soon or i don't know if it's already come out I'll have to check, but I know, you know, ever since the late great Virgil passed away, that they're getting a new creative director. I think I've seen something on TikTok about some of their pieces. Uh, that's pretty fire. Um, I know Fashion Week was this week or last week or one of these weeks. It, it was either this week or last week or it's coming up. I, I really don't remember, man. I've just been scattered so much just because of uh, school and stuff, just trying to get my work done. But I know Fashion Week's coming up, so if y'all are in that, you know, Tell me how that's going. I want to go to one really badly. Uh, I just need to find time in my schedule. I know there's one coming up in, I think, February. Another fashion week. I know they do Paris, New York, Milan, and a couple other cities. Um, and I, I just really want to get invited to one and just, like, really just see what it's all about and just fashion culture. You know, that's what I love, man. I love seeing just clothes and how people dress in different styles and different cultures so if any of y'all have been to fashion week in the past or are going to fashion week let me know man send me some pictures tell me your experience dm me like seriously i just want to hear about it just for when i go you know i just get a, a feel of what it's like out there some other shoes that i have coming in are the travis scott ones and the black cat fours i got coming in i'll do a review on those and on my other channel i'll do a how to style those shoes i still got the pure money sitting over there in the corner that i that i wore today i need to stop wearing them because i it's, they're, they're getting a bit dirty i probably need to clean them up uh but I, I told myself i was i was only gonna wear it twice a year and i've worn them like five times now just because i love that shoe like i've been wanting that shoe for so long man but but all white shoes really kind of suck just because yeah they're gonna look clean but you just have to take care of them man like literally like air forces i have my homeboy put some spray on them and that, I think that helped. I'm not completely sure, but uh, I, had to, I had to really get a good detail look at if there's any stains or anything on them. But from a, a glance, they still look pretty clean, still look wearable. You know what I mean? Another thing I want to get into is talking about my merch website. So as you guys know, we're trying to drop every Friday. I know we're going to try to drop this Friday. I got some pieces in lock that I'm going to try to, you know, drop. So make sure you guys go check out that merch stop we got puzzles we got shirts we got tees we got rug no we don't have rugs not yet but we do have mugs that's what i meant to say we have mugs and we have tapestries and we also have towels now so make sure you guys go check that out if you will link will be in the description as well another thing is guys don't forget we're still doing that dunk giveaway for october 25th where you can win a you have a chance to win. You have a chance to win the Syracuse Dunks. All you have to do to enter is screenshot me a DM uh, that you subscribe to this channel 
and for more entries all you have to do is like any youtube video will be considered as entry or any share on any platform whether that's spotify apple Podcasts, youtube tiktok whatever that is send me a screenshot of that that will also be another entry i think the highest entry count that i have right now is like 152 i want to say some guy has so uh make sure you guys go check that out and if you stay updated on my instagram you will also find like certain videos or certain things that i'll do that will count as double entry so for example i may say you know hey if you guys share this video there'll be two entries for you guys so make sure you guys go check that out also don't forget angels of arc is coming for november 4th of 2022 i'm super excited to drop this brand man i've been working been working on it it's casually casually i need to put some more work into it but it, when it drops it's gonna be fire you guys can enter to a giveaway for the off-white jordan ones by just simply screenshotting that you follow the page angels of arc that's angels of arc not ark i know a couple people typed that in dm me and were like hey i can't find it but it's arc so make sure you guys go check that out screenshot me a dm of that and you are entered to the giveaway for the jordan one off-white all right let's get into our fashion creator of the week and our fashion brand of the week so our fashion creator of the week this week is a guy named clay clay v he popped up on my explore page and i was like man i love this guy's pictures i love this guy's fits let's break down some of his pictures let's break down some of his fits all right so first fit we have on i'm getting very uh um, this guy this guy's pretty versatile I'm not gonna lie this is this is a pretty amazing fit so he's got the dark green beanie on red glasses looks like a Nike uh, jacket on with a little bit of dark green um, some white pants and I can't tell if those are new balances or Nikes those are Nikes yes those are Nikes man this is amazing amazing picture amazing fit really really killed it on the color combination here man I love this fit doesn't look like he has much accessories as far as it goes for rings or jewelry but for honestly this fit you probably wouldn't even need none man this is just an amazing fit i love the glasses everything comps complements each other he really really knows about color theory man this is just an amazing fit i literally love this fit that, that is an amazing outfit man that's an amazing outfit. I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. Shout out, Clay. Let's do one more. Next fit we have on here, he looks like he has that same green bandana, just tied around a bit differently. Brown jacket, brown belt, it seems like. Another white pants, some dark gray New Balances, and a wife beater on. Man, you know, I don't like the background on this one as much, but he's killing it with the pose, killing it with the fit. Again, color combination is on point man i wish i could dress like this bro this is amazing this is truly amazing i'm gonna give this fit a 10 out of 10 man shout out clay it's clear why he has you know he's honestly should have him i feel like more of a following 10k this man deserves a lot more make sure i go follow my boy clay on instagram at underscore underscore clay v all right let's get into our fashion brand of the week so our fashion brand of the week is a brand called skater brain SB. So obviously the skater brand just because the SB um just on the SB in the name. Man, I really, really do like these pants that they have. Looks like they had these bigger type of pants, you know, very loose, very skater type vibes. Love the prints that they have on them. I wonder how they fit, honestly, but it looks like based on the pictures, it looks like they might they, they'll fit really well, honestly. Uh just looking at some of these pants, I really wanted these tie-dye uh camos that they have. Jeans look really really good. Um they got some skating clips on here, so like I said, obviously a skater brand. Uh I don't know, it looks like they may even have dropped some backpacks and stuff like that. Just looking at them. Pieces are very unique to them. I think I've seen them around a bit in the skating community. If I'm being honest, I feel like I have a friend who has one of their decks. I may be wrong on that. Looks like they even have dropped a ring. A couple of tees, a couple of long sleeves, cardigan too. Or in the future, they're dropping a cardigan and a backpack. I was wrong. Sorry, I'm just looking at their Instagram right now. But yeah, shout out Scatterbrain for being the fashion brand of the week. And that's all I got for y'all this week, man. Quick little episode. Let me know if you guys want longer episodes, shorter episodes. Uh, I didn't have too much to talk about. Just getting straight to the point. Next episode, I'll try to make it a bit longer depending on what y'all want. But if y'all like these shorter episodes, let me know, man. I'll be doing some more hauls, some more reviews. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next episode.